Shalom. I'm back again. I am currently not wearing the ugly shirt because I opted out of it today. I'm going to see if I can get these people to just give me a vest. That way I don't have to wear the shirt and I can take the vest off whenever I need to or want to, which will be always. I don't like those colors and I forget who it was, but somebody made the comment in yesterday's video of if you don't like bright neon color shirts you might be a prepper and yeah i completely agree that's a good one if i ever make another one of those videos again i will definitely use that one for sure um and feel free to check out the you might be a prepper videos still on this channel somewhere i don't know where it's been a while but they're there and they were funny i remember uh, I just pulled out of Costco. That's where I'm at. I got off of work early due to weather. Weather shuts down uh, dump trucks. In case you were unaware, I posted a short video earlier of a dump truck ha getting half loaded in front of me. The video wasn't long enough to see the full load because typically in a dump truck that size and the size of the one I drive, the loader gives you two bucket fulls and they have a scale in there on their bucket to judge how much weight you're getting. The truck I drive can hold anywhere between 20 and 21 tons which put me at and I, the last load I had was 21.23 tons that was the last load I took today which was heavier than any other load I usually take but I was just slightly under my overweight limit I was at 68,500 pounds on the scale total overall weight of the truck with the load on board so keep that in mind if you're ever driving near dump trucks don't cut us off please it is hard to stop that truck it's really hard to stop that truck we have an engine brake we keep them on all the time i don't ever shut my engine brake off for anything i just leave it on because it's necessary even when i'm running empty i still weigh over twenty-six thousand pounds empty and when my truck is empty, it's even harder to stop. The extra weight from the load gives us a little more traction, a little more grip, and it will not stop faster, but it'll stop better. So that being said, be aware of dump trucks like the one I drive. So I'm wearing one of my t-shirts today. That's what it says. Anger management class pisses me off. I've had this shirt forever. My wife bought it for me. She thought it was funny because I used to have road rage issues, but not so much anymore. I've prayed a lot about my road rage issues, so not so much anymore. I still gotta catch myself from time to time. So, what's going on today in the news? I don't know, I, I read the news this morning. I don't really pay attention to it. I know things are crazy. Gas prices are through the roof. There's a gas station somewhere near me. Well, maybe not, that's a Burger King. I don't care about Burger King. Oh, there's one back there. It says it's 3.20 a gallon back there. I got uh, fuel at Costco for 3.17, I think it was. The receipts are on here somewhere. 3.17 a gallon. It cost me $46 to fill the tank because it was only half empty. <laughs> yeah, my tank is never half full. It's always half empty. That's just, that's prepper mindset. You can also find that in the you might be a prepper videos for that reference. So, yeah, gas prices they're hurting us, especially in the dump truck world. It costs an average of a four to five hundred dollars a day to fill up that dump truck, and we have to fill it up every single day. Now, I don't have to pay for that fuel because I don't own the truck. I've been batting around the idea of getting my own truck once I paid down some debts that I have and saved enough money because dump trucks right now last time I was looking at them brand new are running a hundred and thirty thousand ish dollars so I could go put a down payment on a piece of property I've also been looking at prices of properties and in my state 20 acres I've seen it go with a three bedroom and four bedroom house anywhere between $700,000 and $3 million for land with a three or four bedroom house on it in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely middle of nowhere. This land is, you know, a million dollars or more on average. 
and that is just insane. The it's just insane the prices of everything. But like I said in yesterday's video, Yahweh, the Lord our God, he has unlimited credit on his credit cards and he has a bank account that has no limit as well. So where there is the will to obey the Bible and the word of God, the word of Yahweh, there is always a way, Yahweh. He always makes a way for all of us if we do what he wants us to do. It's a pretty tough concept for most Christians. It really is. It's like we don't have to do what God wants us to do because Jesus died on the cross and yada, yada, yada. I mean, read the book. <laughs> Why did he die? Why? To forgive us of our sins so we didn't have to die because of our sins. So, what is sin? Read it for yourself. It's 1 John 3, 4. That is the easiest place to find the definition. You can find the definition in multiple places, but that's the most straightforward and easiest one to find. 1 John 3, 4. Uh, I was going to go that way, but that road is closed. All right, so now I'm going to need to use my GPS really soon to figure out where I'm going. Why is that road closed? This is what I get for not using GPS. I'm not taking the usual route home because I had to go to Costco first. And yeah, that was just a, a pain. So that's that. I'm going to go back to making videos every day. I'm going to try to make videos every day, except we're on the Sabbath, which is Saturday. I, probably, I won't be doing anything that day. I need a break, and I'm going to take it, because it's given to me by God to take a break, and I need one. It's already Wednesday. I got off early today. I'm still well over 30 hours on the work week. It's Wednesday, and I got off early, and I still have over 30 hours clocked in time at work that is the life of a driver professional driver truck driver dump truck driver amazon driver the delivery personnel that's the life it's just constant non-stop unless you're lucky enough to get off early or an extra day off because you're in a job like mine that relies on weather so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and in this video, like I was trying to say, I will try to make videos almost every day. I'm not sure what I'm going to say. I don't really have much to talk about. All I do is drive trucks all day. I listen to a YouTube video here and there when I'm driving occasionally. Not always, but occasionally. I don't really do the YouTube thing that much anymore, but I don't know. I just felt convicted to make a video that first one I made yesterday I hope this is the right way um, that first video I made yesterday I just felt convicted by him to do it and I, I prayed about it and I was like okay if I get some good responses in the comment maybe I'll make another one well I got good responses in the comment section so I made the other one yesterday evening on my way home from work and that brings us to today that's what I'm doing now <laughs> making another video so I hope everyone is having a very blessed week, a very blessed day. I know I am because blessings are abundant to his people that do his things. And I will talk about this abundantly because the blessings equally are abundant. That being said, I'm passing an Amazon factory. Wasn't I just talking about Amazon? Or not a factory, a warehouse. They don't have factories. They don't make nothing. They make absolutely nothing. They just sell stuff. All right, that's enough of my rambling. Shalom.